right, good morning party people. We're at Lake Norman. I was out here earlier this year and they were doing a uh, prescribed burn. So I'm back out to do the wildlife loop. And I'm gonna take a shortcut on the road and get warmed up. And we got a big climb coming. Instead of taking Laurel. And I take the uh, the asphalt. Falls Town Wildlife. And there's one more loop. It's early on a Sunday morning. I'm trying to beat the heat. Yesterday. I was at Hanging Rock. Just checking out how well the Bronson actually pedaled and climbed a little bit without having to make a trip all the way to the mountains. And uh, Hanging Rock is kind of a, a close test, but not, uh, not fully for sure. All right, we're back out of the trail. Go. This way. Oh dear. Oh dear. Stop here. Looks like they just some, some raking and cleaning up on this thing. thing you have to come to grips with is when you're riding a bike at this weight and this much travel and you're riding these XC type 
trails, you're not going to keep up with the lighters. It's a good beginner trail. Take your girlfriend and your wife. Get her hooked on it. My advice, I see this on the trail, and this is just my opinion. You don't want to give somebody what I call sticker shock or first trail shock. Ditch the clipless pedal. Do a trail that's fairly easy. And then do limited mileage. I've seen guys with their significant others out. And folks are tripping all over the place on clipless. And I'm not knocking clipless. You're an XC racer and you like them, good for you. Start out to gain confidence. I don't think it's a good option. I was at the jump lines the other day, one of our local county parks, and just could count on one hand the people I saw were struggling just because it's what somebody told them to do. what everybody else is doing. It doesn't make for an enjoyable ride. You'll gain the confidence and the balance over time. And if you want to go to Clippers, do it. piece of advice don't try to keep up with the pack if you can you'll blow up and you won't be able to finish the ride enjoyably a lot more female riders out these days a lot more riders in general young kids which is great because I think that will uh, spur the trail building the cities counties municipalities governments to uh, invest in bike tourism benefits everybody in my mind Bentonville Arkansas did a fabulous job or have been doing a fabulous job at that
amazing how much uh, better the G outs feel when you have more of that top plush rear shot travel to go through versus uh, that progressively tight at the bottom. That felt really good. My uh, water spout keeps getting hung up on the back of my helmet. I don't have any water in my pack today. I just have a weight in it to help hold the, uh, the stuntman chest strap. So the, uh, without water in it, the tube keeps snagging my dial on the back of the helmet. This is Wildlife Falls Town Fox and then back out. We'll take the road back to the parking lot. I gotta say, it's pretty much a beast to be pedaling around these XE trails, but <clears throat> it's no more beast than that 5010 was that I had uh, 150 and uh, 135 on the back. All right, guys. You haven't already subscribed to the channel, bike builds, maintenance learning how to do skills i don't teach i don't try to like give comments on skills unless i learn the skill first <clears throat> and i feel like i'm proficient on it so um, there will be a lot of those coming up as i learn and progress as myself uh, click the bell for notifications and that'll do it for this ride out of lake norman state park wildlife fox and falls town loops you know what to do until next time skill up and ride